Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I have tons and tons of stuff to haul you guys. I don't even know where to begin. If you caught my last walkthrough, then you know that Pamela and I had to go out of town all the way to Staten Island because basically our Dollar Trees are dry. They are drier than dry. They are the Sahara. So we went to Staten Island and it was a floodgate of wish list items. I really want my next haul to be all the stuff from Staten Island because it's killer, you guys. Killer, killer stuff. We couldn't believe how much awesome stuff we found. Um, I'm not even sure if I ever hauled these. I showed them in a walkthrough multiple times and I did talk about them, but I don't know if I actually ever hauled them. Um, but I love them because as it stands, we have gotten lots of shampoos. We got the thicker, fuller hair. We've gotten other shampoos that were brand name a few months ago as well, but we didn't get a lot of conditioners. So I like picking up conditioners and doing deep conditioning treatments along with whatever brand name shampoo I pick up. And um, these are all non-tipsy wine related Hask deep conditioner masks. And it actually says unwind W-I-N-E-D, Hask. I think that's really cute and really, um, just really funny. And it says, rosé your way to healthy looking gorgeous hair with this Provence rosé inspired deep conditioner. And it has wine extract packed with antioxidants to help rejuvenate, strengthen, and soften. Reserve it all found in the skin of grapes helps protect to restore hair. That's pretty cool. And grape seed oil, rich in vitamin E, helps smooth hair cuticles and prevent frizz. Rose extract helps deliver hydration. And watermelon extract helps hair maintain vibrancy. So that is the uh, Provence Rosé, which I've actually tried them all. I like them all. I think that as long as you keep changing your shampoos and conditioners up, your hair will always look good. This is the Sauvignon Blanc. And this one says, Glisten up, the Sauvignon Blanc inspired deep conditioner helps enhance shine and adds luster with wine extract, reserve it all, grape seed oil, apple extract. This one has apple extract, which is rich in vitamins to promote healthy looking hair and the watermelon extract helps uh, nourish and moisturize. Okay, okay, so we're getting it now. Then we have the Pinot Grigio. Actually, out of the four of them, this one was my favorite, which is kind of funny because I like Pinot Grigio the most. So um, wine extract, reserve it all, grapeseed oil, lemon extract. Wow, strangely enough, this makes sense. This one was my favorite. And out of all the wines, Pinot Grigio is my favorite. But now this one has the wine extract, the reserve it all, the grapeseed oil, lemon extract, which helps revitalize your strands. And I love lemon. And pear extract, which helps condition and add shine. Which is funny because out of all the fruits, I love the pear and the lemon the most. So there we go. Pinot Grigio. And then we have the Brut Rosé. And then we have the Brut Rosé, which I've also tried. This one, this one was like my second favorite. And this one has the grapeseed oil, the reserve it all, and the wine extract. The other two things that they add to this one are the rose extract, which help uh, deliver hydration, and strawberry extract, which helps condition and protect. Hmm, that makes sense. The two that I like the most were also the two that I like the fruits of the most. Isn't that funny how life works? The next item that I picked up is this Palmer's coconut butter formula, cocoa butter, and biotin two-step hair mask. I love, love hair masks, hair conditioners, stuff like that. Those are like my favorite pickups from the Dollar Tree. And I, it says that this one deep conditions and moisturizes, and then the protective glaze seals the cuticle for incredible shine. So, and it, and it's like the second part is just five minutes. So that sounds good to me because I really, I really feel like if we mix it up all the time 
um, our hair will stay ultimately healthier. I think that for a buck and a quarter or a dollar like it used to be, it's definitely worth it to keep our hair looking kind of healthy because it, it could be so much... Um, to get a deep conditioning treatment at a salon sometimes could be up to $50. And honestly, I get the same results for a buck and a quarter. So I definitely will pick that every time. The Dollar Tree has tons and tons of flower pots right now. But um, I just picked this one up. I absolutely love the texture of it. I'm thinking about chalk painting it almost the same color, but I want it to have like a more defined I thought about chalk painting it. I thought it would be cool and fun to chalk paint it because of the texture, but um, it was just $1.25. I have a plant that has outgrown its pot, so I'm going to transplant it in my windowsill, and I just think this actually does not look cheap. It looks like it's actual clay glazed, and I don't have any chance of breaking it, or more importantly, my cat pushes things out of the windowsill, so yeah, it's good when they're plastic because... I, you don't even know. Like I came home after being out with Pamela, um, in Staten Island the other day and I had left the, the cat inside the house and she had pushed everything out of the pantry and Max and Mabel were like practically impregnated with all the staples out of the pantry. They ate like bags of chips. Thank God they didn't eat any chocolate, but it was a crazy, crazy thing to come home to because my animals are nuts. So it's best the pot is not made of clay. <laughs> I showed these tiny little fairy garden cuties a while ago in a walkthrough. A while ago at this point. By the way, the bumblebee one is my absolute fave. I just love all of them. There's one more. I bought all of these. They're my favorites because I like to put them on my stoop um, in the spring and summer. I like to just put them... And I have like some solar lights. I just have one little step and I put a couple on either end. And they look really cute with some stepping stones. And usually by the end of the season, they discolor. But they look so cute just sitting there with my, you know, my my flower pots. And they just add a little something of interest to look at. Because I don't really have a lot of trees in the front of my house. I do live on the in a beachy area. So there's not really a lot of trees after Hurricane Sandy. Most of the trees got blown away. Um, look at this one. I love this one. It's like the old lady that lived in a shoe. And I said that in my walkthrough, but it really is so cute. Isn't it so adorable how it really is a shoe? So cute. Um, and then there's this pine cone and there's this cute pink little roofed house with a spiral staircase leading to the top of her little hut. I just love imagining what the fairy looks like that lives in that. And then there's this yellow roof. Look how adorable that is. I just can't. It's so cute. But I have to be honest with you guys. The bumblebee one is going to get a seat of honor. I'm not putting it outside. I like it too much. I don't know what's going to happen with this one. I might hoard it. I can't bear the thought of putting this on my stoop and letting it get ruined. And um, I did buy a second one of the bumblebee one to put in a bumblebee giveaway sometime in the near future. I'm collecting all things bumblebee related for that giveaway. Maybe I will ultimately put it outside because I can't keep everything forever. But I just think this one is so cute. It's just a little cuter than the other ones. I picked up another one of these size large dog harnesses. And the funny thing is that I actually desperately need to haul this immediately because Mabel, we've been calling her Naked Rob all day. When I came home for my little road trip with Pamela, Mabel's harness was gone. We don't even know what happened. We don't know what happened in here. We've been calling her Naked Rob because she has no harness. She's just strutting around the house like, that's right. You can't even grab me. I'm too slick for you. And yeah, it's crazy. They had a total risky business moment in this house, the two dogs and the cat, but the cat got them good because she was trying to, she was trying to kill them again. She was just throwing things out of the cabinets, probably knocking them on their heads. But these dogs were like, bring it on. We'll eat it. And yep. So I got another harness and I just love, actually love this print. It looks so cute on Mabel. Like it looks so nice in contrast with her. She's like a brindle Boston Terrier in case anybody out there has never seen Mabel. Some of these items are rebuys for me definitely. Like this, I'm obsessed with it. I always rebuy it and I've noticed that my Dollar Trees always carry it. 
Um, let me know if your Dollar Trees always carry this now because it's become like a staple. And I'm wondering if other states also got them. If other states didn't get them, then I'm probably going to have to stock up on these because there may be a day where I won't find these anymore. I love the scent of the Sweet Pea Blossom. It's really just a light honeysuckle type of really just just nice, very unique. It's not like other laundry fabric softener sheets. It just smells light and wonderful. I really love it. I guess I actually already did start stocking up because I picked up two of those. I was lucky enough to score another one of these, you guys. And these, the well of these has run dry for sure. I haven't even taken a look to see which color they are inside. They're the blue ones. It's okay. I love the blue ones too. The brown ones were my favorite. I just saw this and grabbed it because they're gone. And they're the actual Downy Unstoppables, 17 and a half ounces. This is like the greatest thing that came into the Dollar Tree next to the gold toe socks last year, in my opinion. Of course, I love palettes, but palettes are like in a, in a genre all on their own. Finding brand name hard candy palettes or any palettes, Rimmel, Wet n Wild, those are like in a genre all of their own. Those are like a natural high in the Dollar Tree. But then there's like everything else, snacks, laundry products, clothing, belts, shoe, you know, whatever the Dollar Tree gives you. This is in my top five of last year. These are phenomenal. And when I stumbled onto this one, I was like, I'm not going to open it until I do it on camera to see what color. So the last of the Mohicans, like Pamela would say, is going to be the blue ones. I was so excited to find this. Sometimes it's the little things, you guys. It's really the little things that make me truly happy. Um, and I actually pick these up before I found that because I usually make my own laundry detergent, but I have to be honest with everything going on with my husband being in the hospital. Oh, I thought this was fabric softener. This is Aroma Blast Odor Defense Laundry Detergent. Durr, I thought it was fabric softener. It smells so good that I thought it was fabric softener. But Gain always smells really good. Wow, yeah, it's amazing. Um, so, like I was saying, I usually make my own laundry detergent. And it's been a while that I hit pan on my laundry detergent and I kept promising myself since like the end of November, December, mid-December, I totally ran out. And I did get a big box of powder gain, which happens to be one of my favorite um, powder detergents is powder gain. Oh, I love it. And it lasts forever anyway. But I do like to make my own detergent. It lasts me the whole year and it's so inexpensive. But um, I just haven't done it yet. So I picked up fabric softener because I do have that gain and I was hoping to find the Downy Unstoppables Incognito, but I wasn't finding them. So I did pick these up because you know what? These are not bad. I don't know if you guys have ever tried the spring. I don't like the blue one. I don't. I don't think it smells good coming out of the laundry, but this spring one smells not that bad. For $1.25, I do kind of feel like it's a good deal. Um, because it does definitely freshen the laundry and it's 10 and a half ounces, which is really not bad. Um, even the Arm & Hammer ones that are like 16 ounces are between four and seven dollars, depending on where you buy them from. And those are predominantly the least expensive laundry crystals. So I do think that this is a good deal. I know, I think Dollar General has like a pretty good deal on them. I don't really shop Dollar General. I go to Walmart or Target because Dollar General in my area almost never has anything. And then, like I said, I thought this was fabric softener, but it turned out to be laundry detergent because I was just getting a junction with my powder laundry detergent until I get myself, for lack of a better word, together and do my own laundry detergent like I like to. It's really great and it works amazing, but I, I don't normally haul um, laundry cleaning products, stuff like that, because I do make my own and it lasts me the whole year. I picked up a bag of these Seven Days Mini Croissants and they say that they have double the filling because they have cherry and vanilla inside. I'm going to show you guys what they look like. There happens to be, I bought two of them. There's one open here. Um, that's what the inside looks like. These are really delicious. You get 2.12 ounces. 
and you get about seven or six of them in here, which is a pretty good deal. They're little mini croissants. Um, my son, of course, opened this one and did not think it was necessary to seal it. So now they've gone stale, which is why I showed it and didn't taste it. But they are really good because when I first ate it, I had one and I put it in a Ziploc bag because I know that they go stale. But then when you live with a boy, you find things like this a lot. So it's always better. That's my only gripe is I wish it was a resealable bag because then maybe he would have closed it. But yeah, this is how I find things when you have a boy in the house. <laughs> I did pick up this awesome magnet that says when life gives you lemons, just put them in your sweet tea because I am going to be doing a lemon themed giveaway and I'm collecting all things lemon. I just have to. It's what I, I love hunting lemon and bee oriented items in the Dollar Tree that I think are cool items, not just everything, but things that I think are cool and pretty like that definitely have to go in the giveaway. So I was lucky enough to pick up a couple sets of these V&A hand creams. And I have to say that these are incredible. I'm not going to open these because I actually, sadly, or actually, I would have bought more sets if people weren't like just straight up animals in the store and just open boxes. These come so nicely packaged with like tape. They're sealed shut. So I guess people were just like, I need to open this to see what I'm getting for my $1.25 when it clearly says hand cream. The packaging is beautiful on the inside. The tube has the same print. It has a pretty, pretty little black, those old school, like old school looking apothecary, like little caps. Um, they're just beautiful. I don't want to open them, like I said, because I got two sets for gifts and um, I did actually check out the ones that were open in the store. Um, maybe I did squirt a little bit on my hand, but it was already open. So I don't feel bad about it. And, um, it, the floral, the floral garden one is the one that was open and it smelled amazing. So judging by that, I gotta be honest, I don't like the scent of peony ever. So I would be bad to judge that. But like I said, they're gifts. Um, but I absolutely love everything about the VNA products. And, um, there are a lot of little pocketbook sized hand lotions to choose from right now in the Dollar Trees. They do have the um, V&A. They also have the Yes Studio hand creams. I have to say that they probably all make really great gifts, but if I had to choose one, I would probably choose the V&A. I think that all of the components together are so exciting. It's become like a huge scavenger hunt. I myself have not found the mirrors or the soap on the rope, but I do have... A couple sets of the hand lotion. I did also find the emery boards. So in my opinion, like to get six of these absolutely beautiful emery boards, one of the lip tins or all three of the lip tins, one of the hand creams or all three of the hand creams as a little gift in, you know, you could put it in a little bucket or a little cellophane bag, anything you put it in. With anything else that you can pick up now by the brand Titania, like this um, Essentials scissor, look at that. I mean, that's a nice little item. Or um, they have they have so many things that you could add to the little gift and just really kick it up to a whole new level for just a few bucks, like five four items is $5 plus some wrapping. And you can give someone a really nice gift. Anybody. I think it's really nice to... Give somebody something when they don't expect it, and you could honestly be changing the course of the rest of their life. It sounds crazy, but if somebody's having an awful day, it could like perpetuate into a depression. But sometimes when you give someone a little gift, it picks them up and takes them to a whole new world. I just think that spending that $5 could honestly change a person's life, change the course of their life. I mean, I actually honestly think that way, that those little acts of kindness that you do randomly for people change the course of the rest of their lives. And that's why I enjoy giving things to people when they least expect it. So um, I love the Dollar Tree for that. I actually got really lucky. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be gifting with these lotions. Because like I said, I scored two sets. One set is for a friend, but I scored this. Now, I know that it's like from 2021 to 2023, which is okay. The person I'm giving it to is not going to be picky about that. 
but this is a brand name. It's by the brand Lamome, and I looked it up, and they're like a brand name, and it was in the book section at my Dollar Tree. It is a really cute little planner. I mean, really, really nice. Do you guys see that? Super pretty, really well made. It's like leather. I think it's real leather. It has this little pocket for your receipts. The stra I think it's gorgeous. I was going to keep it for myself, but then I realized how nice. So the mom that I have in mind, who I plan on gifting this to, is getting this beautiful little planner that I got for $1.25, this pack of nail files, this little bottle of lotion, the floral garden one, and the lip balms. I mean, that's a nice little gift, and it all matches really nicely, but you know what? If you had found this planner, you, you know, you could gift any combination that you want. <sighs> Whew, sneeze to the truth, you guys. My allergies are off the hook today. You could gift it in any combination that you want. Don't you guys think that that looks so pretty with this really gorgeous, like, tan leather? I was so happy when I found that. I thought it was, like, a really special find. Um, okay, so we've gone through the V&A Emery boards, which I'm obsessed with. They're actually really nice. I bought quite a few sets of those and the lotions. Then we need to talk about the Yes Studio. Look at these boxes. Yes Studio is from Aeropostal. I was able to find the hand lotions as well as, and I mean, I love this packaging. I think it's super fun for like tween Easter baskets. The lip balms, aren't those so nice to give in teenage girls Easter baskets? They love lip balm. They love hand lotion. It's a really useful item. And the packaging is 10 out of 10. That's the best part of it. I'm going to open one lotion just to show you guys what the inside looks like. Look at that. Isn't that just, it's perfect. And I love, I love that kind of cat. The um, V&A hand lotion has this kind of cap, but in black. It's just perfect. Also sealed again, double sealed. The outside is sealed. The inside is sealed. I love that. Phew. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, my allergies are crazy. I, I have been sneezing all day. That's why my eyes look like this. There it is. So... If you really look at it, you can tell that it's not like, it's not a super thick, it's like lightly scented, it definitely moisturizes, it does what it's supposed to do, packaging is 10 out of 10. I personally, my absolute favorite lotion that has ever been or will ever be for sale at the Dollar Tree is the Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion, but that's for my personal use. When gifting, this packaging, just it's 10 out of 10, guys. So if you're looking for an inexpensive gift and you find these, they are definitely an amazing pickup. The peonies lightly scented. I've actually already opened a peach, but it's in my room. It smells really nice. And I want to show you guys what the lip balm looks like when you open it up. This babe balm is the cranberry sparkle lip balm. And just look at that packaging and how beautiful is that? Ooh, it smells wonderful. I love it. I really, really love it. And I know that I don't think a lot of people opened it and like actually showed that it's white. I think it's like, it smells so good. It's really a nice lip balm. Um, the packaging is, is like cardboard. So it really actually looks, it actually looks expensive. It's such a lovely, lovely gift. I can't imagine anybody not enjoying having that as a present. I really can't. It's a great gift. So the Cranberry Lip Balm is the Babe Balm. And the Pear Lip Balm is the Power Pout. And then we have the Pucker Up is the Peach Lip Balm. So they all correlate with the hand lotions because we have Just Peachy. You can gift those, obviously. And then the peony hand cream goes with the cranberry. We're not going to have peony lip balm. I wish the lotion was cranberry too, honestly. I don't like peony that much. And just personally, I don't like floral. And then the pear hand cream and the pear lip balm, those are some of my faves. I actually love, I love this set. I just think it's like snarky and fun and just fabulous. 
absolutely love that. And for two fifty, lip balm and hand cream is like a done deal. You could be two fifty and done with a little gift wrap, or you can add more things to it if you find them, or if you find other things. Another item that I found a couple weeks ago, it was a couple weeks ago, and I'm actually using it today, and I love it, is the um, color correcting cream that has the Broad Spectrum SPF by Hard Candy in Fair. You guys, I love this product. They had this a long time ago, and they brought it back, and it's awesome. Five flawless results in one. Color corrects skin tone, neutralizes undertone, brightens complexion, evens skin texture, and it's oil-free. This is a really good product. I loved it when they brought it the last time, and I'm happy that they brought it again. And I'm just going to show you guys what's in the box. I actually have one open, but I'll just have one in my car because I, I find myself putting makeup on all over the place anyway, so it's good to have two going. Oh, um, also, the number is 617. I still didn't get it open though. 617 Fair, in case you want to look it up somewhere else. So that's what it looks like. It's great. Really good stuff. Um, cruelty free, of course. And it's sealed, which again, I love. I love when I, that is what made me not like the Crabtree and Evelyn. Not all of them are sealed. And there it is. See, that is a really good shade. It's very light. I just really, really like it. I re I'm wearing it today. It it really blends really well. It's just, it's perfect for me. I, I just love it. It actually says on the back of the package that it's an all-in-one correcting cream that balances your complexion, resulting in a soft, natural finish formulated with special light optical pearls that neutralize the undertones of your skin. Color correcting SPF formula leaves skin looking radiant and flawless. I honestly really love the um, finish that it gave my skin. I, Like I said, I have crazy allergies. You guys have seen me sneeze twice during this video. My eyes are like bloodshot because I am truly allergic to the dog, plus it's allergy season, and all the allergy in the medicine could not possibly save me today. <laughs> and this made me look halfway decent, even though my eyes are very puffy, very puffy. Then I want to take a little break in the middle of the video to share with you guys. I have ripped off my address and Taco Patty's ad address. Um, she's, look, at there's a little avocado on the side of the taco. <laughs> I just thought that was really funny. Um, she made me a surprise. And look at the color. It's green. I just wanted to tell you guys, I don't know if you can see my gnome. That was my Valentine's gnome. His head has been decapitated. Remember I told you guys that the cat knocked off all the stuff from the pantry and the dogs went to town. Well, they also, she also knocked over the, the poor, poor, beautiful Valentine gnome. And now he's become a St. Patty's Day gnome because I put a Christmas hat on him and put it all green. It's all right. And I actually... This is the beautiful floral garland that I showed in my walkthrough. Um, I just, I didn't haul it. I didn't, I just put it, I just already put it in there to make it look spring-like. Um, and I just uh, thought I'd mention it. If you haven't seen my walkthrough, then go ahead and check it out. That's the bucket that I showed in my walkthrough, the Easter bucket. And this is garland. They actually have floral garland at the Dollar Tree that has beautiful florals in it, which I just think is amazing. It's $1.25 for garland with flowers in it. I've never seen that before. So this is what Patty sent me and a card and a little, I had to make sure it didn't have any um, happy clover day. Okay. I was like, I don't want to give anybody's personal information. Oh, this is for Constance. So I'll send that to Constance. I'm not going to let you guys see that because that's a surprise for Constance. Um, that was really sweet, Patty. You're a doll. Um, see, <laughs> oh my God, Patty, you're freaking hilarious. Patty wrote that she sealed it with slobber. <laughs> yes, she did. Happy Clover Day, Rizzo. She calls me Rizzo because in one of my premieres, we were talking about the movie Grease and how if I had to pick a favorite character from the movie Grease, you know, we go together like that one. I would definitely be Rizzo. 
I chose Rizzo myself because I know every word to Stalker Channing's There Are Worse Things I Could Do. <laughs> you guys know the song. I don't have to repeat it. Then um, it says, I believe happiness is contagious. Yes, my friend, it is. It's true. Oh, my gosh. This is the craziest thing ever. I literally just opened it. You guys witnessed it. But but in the card, Patty wrote, so I sneezed happy germs inside this card. Rizzo, I hope you enjoy these creepy gnomies. Uh, love taco, Patty. But how crazy is it? I sneezed twice during, Patty, you sent me germs. <laughs> I'm a, I'm allergic to Patty, you guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love Patty. Patty is a pleasure to have on my on my channel and a wonderful subscriber um, and friend. And now there's something in here. And look, it looks like candy. It's poison candy. I'm just kidding. I don't know what I'm talking about. I get you guys. I'm just totally joking. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these. These are a little big for earrings, Patty. But because I wasn't able to decorate for St. Patty's Day, um, I think that I'm going to put these gnomies here for a few more days and they can live with my defunct Valentine's turn into St. Patty's Day gnome until we do eat some corned beef. Aren't those the cutest things you guys have ever seen? I don't know how she did that, but wow, those are gor they're gorgeous, actually. They can hang out with their Nomi. He's like Papa Nome. And um, also, another item that I want to share with you guys that I never hauled is this Faith Canvas. Isn't that gorgeous? This is actually the Easter aesthetic that I was going to do, but I just kind of have changed my gears and sort of slapped everything up there for now. But I'll get it together eventually. And uh, I did put up the Faith because you have to keep the Faith sometimes. Things are just in peril, but it's all going to work out in the end. I, I truly believe that. And then I want to show you guys some of the other canvases that I hold that I honestly cannot even think about buying any more canvases, but I also couldn't think about not buying them. I had to buy this canvas. Absolutely had to pick it up. I, I think it's so pretty, but somehow I had to pick it up because I also bought the entire set of these dishes that I swore I wasn't going to get. But I bought three plates, three bowls, which I don't know where they are right now. Um, my son, of course, has already started using one because um, he just, but I just felt like, I don't know. I had to buy all of it. I just think it's so pretty. They honestly really kind of match. So I may actually redo my coffee bar and put my plates up there. I was thinking and maybe putting this in the coffee bar and just switching things around. I'm not sure. I'm going to be doing something. I have to take Valentine's down from the coffee bar, but things have just been crazy. But I had to buy that because it is so, so pretty. I just had to. I had to. If I meet a lady, uh, my son did use one of the plates, but if I meet a lady who gets housing in the next week, I'll probably give her the whole dish set. I decided to pick this set up because it's like literally magnificent and I'm going to be gifting this to someone that I think will love it it has cheetah prints in the bathtub and in the sink it's unbelievably a beautiful set I did pick this up because it's just totally beautiful look at the butterfly it's so gorgeous I absolutely love that so much Everything with love. Originally, I was going to give this to Constance, but she found it on her own in South Carolina. Um, she told me that they don't usually get the new canvases that quickly. So I was looking for this for her. And then she ended up finding it before I did. And um, so now I get a set and she gets a set. And look at how gorgeous that red lipstick is. Do you guys realize that I love that? Of course I love that. I love that. And it's like glitter, glitter in lipstick. I'm all over that. I love it. Completely love it. I just love it. I think those are actually my favorite ones that I've ever seen. They're so, because they're red. A lot of the time they're pink. I don't love pink, but I love red. And these are definitely red. And then I bought not one, but two of these tails. 
And I have a confession to make. I've since bought two more because because I just love them. I love anything that has to do with the ocean. I feel like when I send people packages, instead of sending them a card, I can mail them this because they'll know, oh, okay, Marina sent me this box. There's a mermaid tail in here for no apparent reason because that's just the way I am. But I mean, I love the mermaid tail and um, I did buy, of course, the seahorse. And I feel like these are a set, although a very strange set, because the underwater scene is very similar. Don't you guys think that they're a weird set? Like the mermaid is floating up to the top to do mermaid stuff. And then the seahorse is just viewing everything. It's just hanging out at the bottom there. And I love seahorses. They're almost like aliens or mythical creatures themselves, but they actually exist. So I can sort of get why they're... I don't know. I just love this set. It's very crazy, but I absolutely love this combo. I think it's just kind of out there. But I, but I do love seahorses. They're like my favorite sea creatures. So there's this channel that you can put on and watch like hours and hours of underwater life. And they have seahorses on that channel. I could watch them and fr they make me freak out. They're so, they're like aliens. Like I just love looking at seahorses. I, I become mesmerized. I could honestly watch them for hours. To me, they're like stress relaxing. They're like relaxing and stressful all at the same time. Then I bought this set and I happen to think that they're a set. I'm going to put them probably in my kitchen going down in a row on one of the cabinets or maybe on the pantry that we painted. But um, first of all, I love, absolutely love bird anything. And I love those colors. It screams pioneer woman to me. This canvas is so, so pretty. But then this, these like, I think they're peonies. They match in a crazy way to me that... I don't know. I just feel like they really go together and I had to buy them together. I wanted both of them. I love these canvases. But then I decided that this bouquet is this bouquet. They're so similar. That's in this bicycle. The only thing that's missing is there should be a bird sitting on the bicycle. Then the whole story would be complete. The lady went to go buy her flowers. She met this bird. I don't know, but the, these all go together. Do you guys think these go together or have I lost my mind? When I was paying for these, I asked the cashier, I was like, if you were buying these, would you buy all three of them or would you just buy the bicycle or would you just buy the bird? And she was looking at me like, are you going to pay for these? <laughs> and I, and I, I don't know. Usually I'm, I usually know for sure when something goes together. I know, I don't. I don't think that they intended for these to be a set, but in my mind, they're like the beginning of a really cool gallery wall. I really can see it. Oh, even though this one is, yeah, like that. And then like that. Aren't they like really nice together? These colors, like, I don't know. I really, really, really love them. And I'm going to make them work. I'm going to make them work. Obviously not with the mermaid and seahorse all at the same room, but... They're going to work. I have to say, though, that these dishes are phenomenal. Even the fact that they're, like, almost kind of rounded, they, like, I don't know, they're not really flat. They have, like, a very unique shape. They're really shiny. They are beautiful dishes. Really and truly beautiful. Then I did pick up this um, Be Better Sakura Sensation Shower Gel Soap, paraben-free, um, SLS-free, and natural ingredients. I have to tell you guys, this soap has such a wonderful light scent. Um, it's thick. It's a really, really, it's very, it smells like tea. It smells like tea to me. It is a really light, um, not floral... It's a very light, aromatic, like herbal tea kind of scent. It just smells absolutely amazing. I love this shower gel. And I just want you guys to see that it is thick like honey. Can you guys see that? 
This is a fantastic product. I already have one in my shower and I've already started using it. I absolutely love this shower gel. I gotta be seriously honest, this is one of my top 10 favorite shower gels that I've ever gotten in the Dollar Tree based exclusively on the complex, intensely wonderful, honey, thick, aromatic, herbal scent that it has. It has a really high-end scent, um, unlike anything I've ever smelled in the Dollar Tree. It smells like honey and herbs. It's so amazing. It's a wonderful bathing experience. I really hope that if you find this in your Dollar Tree, you'll trust me enough to take a shower with it and take it home and think of me in the shower. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding, you guys. But honestly, I hope you guys like it because I, I love it. But I'm like a weirdo when it comes to fragrances. I'm not a floral girl. I love Asian-y, incense-y, intensely mysterious kind of fragrances. And this isn't like one of those dark sultry it's like a light herbal like in the morning after your dark if after like your dark sultry scented night you like wake up and you're like I think I need an herbal tea today and this is like the beginning of that day this is such a great scent that dollar 25 is just out of the world unbelievably cheap for this I don't know where in the world this came from it's not a Dollar Tree product I tried looking this company up I can't seem to get a paper trail on them but be better it did its job they are better it's an amazing product I absolutely love it and there's more you guys they have this rainforest bliss liquid hand soap and it did explode in the bag because I opened it to smell it it also has like a wonderful herbal scent, a little bit more lemony. Um, it's supposed to smell like Rainforest Bliss. I guess their Rainforest Bliss has a light scent of lemon to it. It's a little bit lemon. It's a hand soap. It's very thick. Look, it's super thick. Do you guys see that? I love the thickness of it. It's like intensely thick, nice good quality soap. Then, then we have this Rainforest Bliss body butter. So it's kind of weird because the shower gel doesn't go with the body butter. The shower gel has nothing. It's a standalone product, but then we have body butter and hand soap. So I could see buying this and using the body butter as hand lotion because I mean, we're going to open it up now and see if the lotion, let's see if the lotion is as good as the rest of the soaps because the soaps are amazing, top 10 awesome products, but I have not yet tried the lotion. It says it's a body butter, which drives me crazy because I would have liked the other scent to be a shower gel. You guys know what I'm saying, right? I'm, I'm babbling. Okay. See that? That is a thick lotion. Wow. It smells amazing. You know what? Wow, I love it. I absolutely love this line. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of upset that I didn't buy more of it because I was like, I've never heard of it. This could be another one of these Dollar Tree fake products that's not really a brand name, but the packaging is gorgeous. Everything about this stuff is really, really high end. I just don't, if anybody has ever known of the, it comes out. And the other crazy thing is, this is 200 milliliters. This is a big, this is like a Bath and Body Works size tube of product while we're busy buying for $1.25 the Crab Tree and Evelyn little teeny tiny hotel. I swear those came from a hotel. And you definitely get super bang for your buck here because you're getting 200 milliliters of this, you guys. That is like Bath and Body Works size, full size product for a buck and a quarter. It's awesome. It closes nicely. It's, I just, I'm, I can't say enough about these. I am completely endorsing them. If you guys have tried these and you don't like them, let me know I'm off the rails because I just absolutely love these products. I really do. I hope that we see a lot more Be Better. I would be better off for seeing those than some of the other stuff that we're all running around looking for. So yeah, 
In the comments down below, let me know if you've tried these Be Better products and how you feel about them because I am literally obsessed with them. They are probably my new favorite product in the Dollar Tree. Isn't that crazy? I have found every lotion, um, all the Crabtree and Evelyn. I've tried all of them at this point. I haven't hauled them all yet, but I've tried them. These are my favorite products that I found lately. I love the soaps. I love everything about these. They're incredibly luxurious. The packaging is nice. Um, they're they're luxurious. I don't know what more to say. They feel luxurious on a super duper teeny tiny budget. So let me stop talking about those because I could go on and on about those forever. I truly love them. I did pick up these cute little plastic plates. I just love them. Um, they did come in like a lighter shade of blue and I think it was purple or pink, but you guys know me in this color. I'm all about this color. So I picked these up. They're just cute for like April and spring breakfasts or lunches, just little plastic plates. You know, eventually you throw them away. So I saw my buddy Constance from Butterfly Mom's Creations and More hauling these while I was in the Dollar Tree when she was doing a premiere one day. And the crazy thing is I looked down and there they were and I had never seen them before. So as she was showing them, I found them in real life. It was the craziest thing ever. And I was like, wow, that's so nuts. These are so nice, you guys. I did show them in a walkthrough. They're like super thick, heavy duty vinyl really intense quality. This is my favorite one. It's super 80s. I just want like clothing made out of this. I want, I want jeans. Do you guys remember when people wore jeans like in this print? Do you remember that? I love those. I just love these a lot, a lot. They're very punky. I'm totally digging them. They're like comic strip punk rockish if there's such a thing, but that's what they give me the vibes of. And they have a cool, a uh, metal zipper. There's nothing fancy schmancy going on inside, but they are easily cleanable because they're vinyl. You can even throw these in the washing machine, guys. They come out fine. So I did pick up one of each. Who knows? They may end up in a future giveaway. I don't know what I'm doing with them, but I certainly love them. I love these. This is kind of boring, but I picked up a couple of these little plant hooks. You stick it on your fence and then you hang your pot you could get the flat kind or whatever. You can put an old pocketbook on it. Whatever you do with these, they're really useful. They're called metal garden hooks. There's a million and one things you could do with these, but I picked up a couple of them because I find that I always, always need these in the summertime. Always. And they're like practically DIY material because you'd be surprised what you could end up. Like you loop this over your fence and you put an old pocketbook on it. You fill it with dirt and you grow a plant in it. It just becomes like this super boho little summer happy moment. And it all is possible because of this simple $1.25 purchase. By Gildan, I found these slinky polyester t-shirts and I love them. I love them. They're super 90s. This year, spaghetti strap dresses are all the rage. And I'm not going to be sporting spaghetti strap dresses unless it's 100,000 degrees. So I wouldn't mind putting on like a little slinky t-shirt that's made out of like slinky polyester material and then putting on my spaghetti strap dress because I'm in style and it'll look better that way on me. And I love t-shirts like this. So I was able to find them in a 2X in black and in gray. And I scooped them up because I love, I love t-shirts like this. They are really fun and slinky and very retro. Then by American Eagle Outfitters, I actually found in plastic, you guys, this is what kills me. They were in the plastic from the company right here, like from the catalog company. Brand new, nothing wrong with them. Gorgeous, extra large baseball jersey, base, little baseball tees. I mean, how could you go wrong with that? I bought, I bought it in the blue and it actually fits me. It's my size. Perfect, perfect to sleep in. I love shirts like that to sleep in. I also picked it up in the red and it is so nice. I actually picked up two of each because um, I may gift some. I just think that they were a fantastic buy for $1.25. 
They're so nice. They're really nice cotton. The blue one is blue and white, and the red one is gray and red. They're just a steal. For $1.25, you're getting clothing, guys. Clothing. I did pick up some water bowls for outside, and of course, because it's getting warmer. Well, it's actually not. It, like, snowed the other day, but I'm anticipating summer. I'm already there in my head. Um... But I decided to buy some water bowls, and our dogs do not actually get along unless they're being mischievous. But for the most part, they don't get along, so they need separate bowls. So I picked up one for Mabel and one for Max so they can have big bowls of ice water outside when they're chasing each other and driving each other crazy in the backyard. Then um, I could not help but pick these up. They're so, so pretty just for when I start gardening, but I love this butterfly print. Isn't that like such a beautiful garden glove? Absolutely. Just so nice. I mean, they're just plastic on the inside so you don't get like thorns or whatever splinters and they're nothing special, but the print is just, it got me. I loved it. I absolutely love this butterfly print. Now, this has been a long time coming because I showed these in my walkthrough forever ago, but I'm finally getting around to hauling them. I did pick up the Happy Easter mat, which I love with the mint green. I might actually put that on my table. It's it's going to get way too dirty way too quickly in my house. Um, and then I picked up the blue one for my kitchen because this color just matches my kitchen. The truck says Easter Egg Hunt and Country Rabbit Candy Company. I just think it's really cute. Um, I do feel like they could have changed them this year and maybe made the prints a little more detailed, but it's the Dollar Tree. We know how they operate. They don't do those things. And then I had to get this. I might put this by my back door because it's the one that will show dirt the least. And it's where my animals congregate the most, so... They'll, they'll be right at home with the bunnies and chickens. It's just such a cute, happy print. And then I'm going to put the Happy Easter in my bathroom because my bathroom is predominantly this blue color. So I thought it would be cute to just put this down under the shower for a little while while Easter is here. I don't have a problem with these. They do have like some spray glue behind them. And I'm fortunate enough that they actually stay on my floors. Um, I have pergo floors and they actually don't slide around. So I know a lot of people say that they're really dangerous, but I don't notice that. I've never really had a problem with them. This color correcting palette is by Rimmel of London, which I've come to decide is a great company at this point. Um, they also had like a darker version. I didn't pick that one up. This one is the light one, number 10. It has the highlight and the concealer and the contour. It's really nice. And I was really happy to pick that up. I love the packaging. Look, do you guys see that hot pink metallic foil? It's just really nicely packaged. I really have come to love Rimmel. I did show these in my walkthrough a while ago. And um, I have to tell you guys, I was most excited about the lemon, which I bought two of. And I have to tell you guys, nobody's even finished the lemon yet. I regret buying two of the lemon. I also bought two of the um, marble pound cake. Not bad. And I have not tasted the plain one yet. The The marble one is not bad. It's, it's not dry. I feel like the lemon one, it doesn't have a real lemon flavor. I had to put um, like raspberry jelly on it to try to eat it. I tried to eat it with strawberries. Um, I just don't love, I don't love the flavor of the lemon one. It's not very real lemon flavored, if you get what I mean. Um, my son has eaten some of this chocolate marble one and I tasted the marble one and it's not terrible. It's a little moister and I had it with my coffee and I, and I enjoyed it. But the lemon one, I don't love. And I usually love all things lemon. So I was kind of disappointed in that. And like I said, I bought two of them. And I regret buying two of them. They are shelf-stable cakes, so I thought, you know, if it's great, I can keep it in my pantry. And when we're in the mood for, like, something sweet in the morning with our coffee or something, it'll be here. But I don't love it. I really don't love it. It's okay, but it's not my favorite. And I want to be honest about that because sometimes if you only have $1.25 and you have a choice between getting this or getting something else, you know what? I would say 
don't stock up on these. Taste them first. Taste it first and see if you like it. Otherwise, if I thought it was just delicious and most people would love it, I would say buy a bunch of them. If you see them, they'll be gone. But this is not that thing. And then really quickly, I just want to share this card. I have a lot of friend mail, but I did get this card by a subscriber who's named Rhonda Weber. And she closed it with this beautiful seal right here and washi tape. She's one of my OG subscribers. So she sent me this gorgeous Hallmark card. I actually have a package to send out to Rhonda and I haven't done it yet <laughs> because I've been really crazy lately. But I just wanted to share my beautiful card because I've been really backed up with a lot of things. Wishing you a happy St. Patrick's Day. She also mailed me a Christmas card and I never shared it, which I feel terrible about. I got it and then before I knew what happened, it was already Valentine's Day. I'm so sorry, Rhonda, but it was a, such a gorgeous card. So sweet. Thank you so much. It was a, It's a beautiful card. Um, I really appreciate Rhonda and I appreciate all of my subscribers that you don't have to mail me a card for me to appreciate you, but it is nice. Not, I don't have a PO box and honestly, I don't give out my address. Very few people have my address because they've either won a giveaway or because something ended up happening where they ended up getting my address. But, um, for the most part, I canceled my P.O. box when COVID happened for my nonprofit and I thought I was moving and now I'm not moving. My husband has been sick, but um, I just, it's so, so nice when people do uh, reach out and connect with me and then ask me if they can mail me something. If I feel like I know you well enough, you know, it's just really nice. It's a nice thing. Um, I really appreciate it, Rhonda. It was very, very nice of you. You did not have to do that. And I, it made me really happy to see your name in my mailbox because I just love you, Rhonda. You are one of my OG subbies and I so adore you. Although we've been getting wipes galore in the last year, I sometimes just cannot resist the Bolero packaging. I do not love all products by Bolero, but I do pick up their wipes from time to time and I enjoy them. Um, this is a 32 count of Bolero facial wipes, cleanse and glow, pink pineapple grapefruit. Um, look at that packaging, pink pineapple grapefruit. Yes, it's like, it's like poochie print from the 60s. I could not not buy this. Now let's smell it. Wow, that smells amazing. That that smells like pineapple and grapefruit. It really does smell phenomenal. Then we have, and I really like what's in this one. I'm hoping I love these. If I do, I will buy more of these. Look at the packaging, how pretty, pretty, pretty it is. But these were the most appealing uh, content-wise. These are facial wipes that cleanse and nourish with witch hazel and green tea extract. So what's in these wipes was the most... Um, appealing to me. There were other really pretty, pretty packages, but oh, these smell good too. Wow. These smell really good. They really smell like green tea, a little florally green tea-ish, but still they smell phenomenal. And, um, I had to buy them both because I definitely had to buy them both because they feel really, really, um, wet. They're like, that's the thing. Bolero wipes are very, very wet, which I like. And um, they do seal really well. They don't generally dry out that quickly. You can always take a door from another thing and glue it on. I always do that. And my friend Constance just said the same thing in her channel too. But it works, guys. When you're done with something that has a door, just slap it onto this and it'll stay, they'll stay moist longer. I think that I might be on my last but not least. I did pick up another one of these Hydrogel Sleep Face Masks. They're just like that in your eye area like here and under your eye. And um, with my allergies being how they are, I'm thoroughly enjoying these. I put them in the refrigerator or the freezer. I put them on my eyes. I lay down and I'm out like a light. And then, you know, when I move around, I usually take them off. They're really loaded up with serum. They work really nicely. And um, I never, ever am disappointed with Global Beauty Care. I really like their products. I also picked up this pore refining hydrogel face mask with aloe vera and tea tree oil. And I have to say, this is a delightful mask as well. I have tried it before and I enjoyed it and I bought another one and I've actually done it a few times and I have a lot of masks, but 
I kind of like that the gel masks force you to lay down because you kind of have to relax while you're doing them. I can wear a paper mask and clean the dishes and clean the bathroom, but when you're doing a gel mask, you have to take time out for yourself. And there's something about that that is like a whole body uh, relaxation experience that actually does give you you know, what you came for, which is a relaxing face mask experience. So I've been gravitating towards the um, gel masks because they force me to take time out for myself. And I sometimes I need that. I'm just going to haul this because I want to drink it in the morning. Um, this happens to be something that I picked up in Staten Island. You guys will see it in a future walkthrough. But these are not back in in my area yet. But they had tons of them in Staten Island. And this is the Raspberry Mocha by Victor Allen. So I'm hoping that these come back out everywhere because this is my absolute favorite, favorite iced coffee of all times, iced latte by Victor Allen that they ever sell in the Dollar Tree. And I hope that they bring these back because I am going to stock up, you guys, stock up in my area if they get them back. I only bought two in Staten Island and I already had one today and I was like, oh, do I love this. It is so delicious. Anyway, so if you've never had that and you like the Victor Allen coffee and you see this lavender cap, pick it up, guys. One more last, last item, I promise, is this boring swan hydrogen peroxide that is 32 fluid ounces. But what I have to say about this product is, I have started cleaning my whole house with it ever since I bought that magic power cleaner that's like cleaning product made of hydrogen peroxide. I realized why not just clean everything with peroxide? It cleans amazing. Why doesn't everybody do that? Is there like any bad side to it? I clean my floors with this. They come out spotless. I clean the sink with it. It came out spotless. I put, I, I have bought like eight bottles of peroxide lately because everything comes out so spotless clean when you use hydrogen peroxide. Why doesn't everybody clean with hydrogen peroxide? I'm going to like Google it, but I'm obsessed with hydrogen peroxide now. It says first aid antiseptic for treatment of minor cuts, abrasions used to gargle and rinse, but all I know is that when you get a boo-boo and you put it on your boo-boo, it turns that boo-boo white. Well, if you have an accident or if you have a dirty floor and you pour peroxide all over it, it becomes spotlessly clean. That's all I know. So I've been cleaning everything with it. I think it has like antibacterial qualities. I don't even know, but I'm telling you guys, my new favorite cleaning thing is hydrogen peroxide and you get a super full bottle for $1.25. That's it, guys. That's everything. My rant about peroxide is over. Let me know what you guys think of cleaning with hydrogen peroxide. Is there anybody else out there that does that? Because I feel like I've just reinvented the wheel, but I'm sure that a lot of people do it, or maybe there's something wrong with it. I don't know. Okay, peroxide rant over. Thank you guys for being here. Give my video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and share the video with your friends if you'd like them to become a permanent member of the Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict family. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, what in the world are you waiting for? We have lots of fun here and I, we would love to welcome you into our family. Please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.